Oh, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to more Eden Streaking season number three of the Eden Streaks. Here's your seed, YTBBCBZX. Say that ten times fast. Um, Starting with Apple, which is okay. Starting with one HP now, which is, I mean, less than ideal realistically, but, um... We're back Eden streaking some more. It's something that everybody uh, was very interested in happening alongside the Anti-Burst series, which is is still continuing. Don't you damn worry. Episodes will be out um, essentially like every other day right now uh, with how we're doing things. But I'm excited to get back into Eden streaking. Those that don't know, um, I mean, one, Eden's my favorite character in this game. Two, I love streaking. So combine favorite character and favorite... Uh, form of playing the game, I have myself a, a reason to actually enjoy playing The Binding of Isaac instead of uh, having it be a chore every day. You know, I'm enjoying Anti-Birth a lot, as that mod is significantly better than I even remember it being. Um, and then I'm enjoying doing this series in Afterbirth Plus. This is modded. Um, I, I don't really even play this game anymore without it being modded. There's just too much that mods add for me to to not do ad, uh, mods in it anymore, do ads in it anymore. Please like my ads, click them, give me money. I'm just kidding. Um, but we, we, um, it's basically the same mod pack. My, my train of thought went, you know, it was like the Polar Express. It went choo-choo and then off to Antarctica I went. Um, it's kind of the same mod pack we had for the modded rotation streak, except for, um, one major mod addition. We have, uh, the more mushrooms mod. Holy Light is really good. Very happy with that. Uh, we'll probably... You know what? Let me just go pop death in this room. And Kaplooey, you're dead. Um, but we added the... Judgment. Yeah. Best case scenario right here. We added the More Mushrooms mod. Which, those that don't know what the More Mushrooms mod is... It's basically just a mod that gives you... It, it adds more stat increasing mushrooms to the game that usually spawn as boss items i think there's like two that aren't boss items but um they're interesting because not only are they just some more stat increases that i think the game just needs in general but they also have um there's so many cards here man uh it also has kind of a risk reward kind of effect to the items uh it'll be like you know damage up but then you get a speed down with it or it tears up but you get a range down with it or you know everything has kind of a plus minus feature to it that i think makes for a really interesting dynamic with a character like eden because you know you may start runs where you have a lot of one uh type of stat or you may have uh you know you may have to make the decision you know my damage is very low but so is my range and if the item is damage and range you know is that worth taking uh, and stuff like that. And I think I think it's really interesting for Eden. Uh, and I just really like the mod. I think it's very well made. Uh, the author's a great guy. So I figured, why not? Uh, we can afford to add uh, one extra mod to the pack here. You know what? I will... I'll do my due diligence in, uh, in min-maxing a little bit right here. We don't need to get crazy, but I suppose that's worth it. And then I'll take the Hermit... And then we're just going to get the hell out of here. Um, we do have Revelation still in the pack, which is why the music was uh, as it was at the beginning of the run. And we do have the Anti-Burst soundtrack in... Uh, although this does not sound like the Anti-Burst soundtrack. This is original Isaac soundtrack, so something's messed up there, but it is what it is. Don't worry about it. You know, sometimes original Isaac soundtrack is okay. Um, but we... We may add more to the pack. Uh, it's something that I'm not... Voodoo baby. Uh, sure. I actually did not even remotely read what that did, so I have no idea, but... It's fine. Diplopia would be lovely, though. And I'll likely be working as hard as I can to get 11 more cents so we can take uh, that beautiful item. Also, this stay away, it's literally pushing enemies away from me, which is making this fight, like, significantly harder than it should be. But, um... I suppose this item is at least a little bit interesting. It's not super powerful either because it's, you know, it's not like it's completely evading enemies from me. Although it really does feel like it. Yeah, it's not completely evading enemies. It does it like every once in a while. I got hit there to make a point. But, um, I mean, hey, unique to say the least. 
And sometimes unique is uh, good enough for me in terms of an item. It's always weird how some of these modded items, you know, we, we had a pretty long rotation streak. I've been using a lot of these mods for uh, for months now. I still come across items that I, I just have not used well or, or at all. I haven't used any of them well because I suck, but... All right, let, let's do this now. Get this out of the way. There is a part of me that, you know, would have liked to have a little bit more HP going into this, but it's going to be fine. You know, even if it's a massive deal, we'll take what we can. Um, if I don't have any, if I have less than six, I get one red heart. If I have six or more, it gives me a black heart. It gives me an all stats up if I have six or more red heart containers. Okay, well... I think you come in here first. Taking damage causes the fear effect on all enemies. Yeah, I mean, this is just good enough. It doesn't really hurt us, so we'll take it. And then we get two big old red heart containers from that bad boy. I think it's worth it. It doesn't hurt us. Uh, I would have liked to have had Diplopia going into that devil deal as well. But, I mean, this is an item that does not benefit us to have Diplopia. So, it don't really matter. Is there a bomb for sale in our shop? Because one bomb actually gives us a good amount of benefit. There is a bomb for sale. We're not going to get um, anything in that shop. So I'm just going to give up hope on that now. That is not me saying give up hope. Don't give up hope in life. Uh, two bombs. Eh, you know what? Let's, let's see if there's maybe something else we can do with this. Like, for instance, right here. Give me a diamond and nickel. You gave me two cents. Last I checked, not a diamond and nickel. Going to be fair. Um, there's got to be a better place for me to use this. Like, blowing up you. Give me another bomb. Okay. Another scent. I mean, let's be fair. Th this is more worth it than the super secret room. Uh, and then we get another bomb back and another scent. We're just one dime away from, uh, from making this really work. And I'll be honest, in the end, I mean, this... This was really beneficial to do this. Is there any more min-maxing we can possibly do here? I don't think so. However, I'm willing to check. If that gave me a dime, it would have been an absolute miracle. Uh, no, nah, I think you just go. I don't think there's any reason for us to uh, stay. That pill could have been a bombs or key that would have then given us uh, the ability to blow up more of these pots, try to get another you know, 10 cents, but... Just go. This is a level of min-maxing that it's stupid to even try. There's 44 different pill types in the game. Uh, chances of it being the one you need, pretty damn low. So, we will just chill. I do like this uh, Karmic Vessel. It, it appears to be very strong. I think that it would be interesting to get an item like, uh, like our fave Dull Razor with this. So we can activate a brimstone, you know, every two rooms. Or, you know, barring a, a crazy situation where you can uh, get the synergy set up that just repeatedly... Judgment. I'm going to blow you up right away. Uh, that just repeatedly gives you the charges and you can get yourself uh, an infinite Krampus' head, essentially. Because that's basically what it would be. Because at the current moment, it's just one quite large Krampus' head when you get hit. That would be... That would be powerful, man. I mean, that'd be really strong. And that'd be a really fun and broken way to finish up this run. So, I'm going to start to build around that. It's, whenever I play Slay the Spire for a long time, uh, I start to re-look at roguelites in different ways. And, and see, like, where can I eke the most benefit out of this certain archetype that I'm going for. And it's something that I never used to do in Isaac. Uh, but now, I find myself, like all the time yeah that that sucked right there i find myself all the time looking at isaac in this way now uh and being like you know should i be taking items that that fit into the strategy that i'm going and then ignoring the things that don't fit into that strategy and sometimes i think that that's not the most fun way to play but to build something from the bottom up that is just uh wacky and weird and fun i think that that you know has its place in, in terms of a benefit on an Isaac run. You know, and now it, it makes me it makes me love Eden even more. You know, I already love this character in terms of the game. 
that I don't know why I added in terms of the game. I love him as a son as well. Um, but since you start with two items, you, you kind of get like a head start on building yourself uh, your deck of items, so to speak. Uh, whether it be... Yeah, Toxic Shock is fine. Does not help us in the slightest in doing what I'm talking about right now. But Toxic Shock is a fine item. Uh, it's basically, each room, everybody's poison to start out. It's totally fine. Uh, mm, yeah, I don't know what to do with that at the current moment. I would actually like to open it. Um, it'd just be stupid for us to, if I'm being honest. Probably should not have used a bomb in here as well. But it's weird how one game... You know, I've been playing a lot of Slay the Spire, so that, that kind of is why I even bring this up. But it makes you think about games in a different way, which, uh, which could be a lot of fun for me and I enjoy that a lot so I mean on this run we, we get Apple to start obviously which which tells me that we should be building around you know getting a lot of luck so that we can pump out more razor blades and that's why dad's juice in the shop on the last floor might have actually been good because it gives you a massive I mean it, it gives you a fluctuating luck stat but on the flip side you know we can have times where it gives us you know 12 luck in a room just gonna start pumping out razor blades like mad, um, which is gonna do a lot of damage. And then we start with deck of cards, which I mean we're doing okay with right now, although uh, it's it's not really something that we want to stick with long term because deck of cards isn't that great. You know, if we can get ourselves a a way to hold two cards, different story. I mean, it becomes a little bit more valuable, but at the current moment, it's kind of just. We're using it to get immediate benefit. There's not really. I don't know why my brain was like, yeah, Tyler. Pop that. Why not? Um, I really hate Dr. Fetus. I know there's a lot of people that like it. Uh, and there's a lot of people that are going to be mad at me when I don't take it here. I think that this is a run where we have the ability to do something way better than just having bomb tiers. And I think that it's actually a, a weird... A weird run that what we have doesn't actually even fit with bomb tiers. You know, because here's the issue. You lose out on things like Holy Light. Now worthless. You lose out on the Razor Blades from Apple. Now worthless. Uh, you're losing out on a lot of synergies to take an item that, in my opinion, is not that strong. I, I know that it fires out bombs and bombs deal uh, more damage than tears. But, you know, it's slowed down rate of fire. Higher risk of hurting yourself. You know, there's very few runs where I will say, you know, yes, this is a Dr. Fetusable run. You know, sad, sad bombs, snag that, obviously very good. But, um, did this just not give me money? <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, okay, Tarot Cloth. So, Tarot Cloth, yeah, obviously this is, uh, this is what we're going for here. And... Okay, it's a strength card. I thought it was another year for a second. I was like, okay, and now, well, now it's ridiculous. But, uh, I need a bomb to get that. This strength card very well might be being used uh, in my boss fight slash in my devil deal. Health up. Totally fine. This is a red heart oriented run, which is something I don't normally do. But we're, we're cranking up the red hearts. It's fine by me. I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the, the channel right now with all the different stuff going on. The Double Isaac, the, the Hollow Knight, uh, the Slay the Spire. We'll be starting Slay the Spire mods here soon. Frankly, the first modded video may go up. Uh, I haven't recorded it yet, but I don't know when I'm recording or uploading this. So, it may go up. Uh, it may go up before this video even goes up. But uh, we'll be doing modded Slay the Spire, Hollow Knight, two different Isaac. Um, I have a couple other series I want to start as well. Okay, here we go. Drops a pickup that Isaac is missing. No soul hearts drops a soul heart. No keys drops a key. Less than 15 coins drops a dime. Okay. We're probably not going to get the all stats up from it. Which is what we're, we're genuinely looking for. Is the all stats up. But the chances of us getting it. Pretty low. Will I attempt to get it? Yeah. Um... It's also a way to get a bomb that we, we so desired, but there's still... Oh, wow. We actually did most of this floor. And by that, I mean we did all of the floor. So, chances of us actually uh, finding 13 more cents here. Um, 
not likely, to say the least. Latch key. And no devil deal. It's a lockup, which is uh, great for us. Let's see. How do I want to do this? It's another strength card. Um, I got I got a weird idea. It, it's actually so stupid that it might be a good idea. Which is not something that I say often, and by that I mean I've said it a million times. We have 65 strength cards on this run. On this floor. And we, uh... We might as well play this. Now we come here. We snag circle of protection. Not all that great. Uh, we get Trinity Shield. Troll Bombs. Okay. Time for me to, to come back here. And do this real quick. Get a little bit of extra HP. Then we come over here. Do this. I'm not overly concerned yet. Keep in mind that we'll be we'll be keeping uh, Yara down in the next floor. I was really hoping we would get the uh, the lot of money pull from this, but we did not. There's still a chance we will after we fight this boss. Uh, which I mean, we're gonna fight the angels at this point. Why wouldn't you? Might as well snag the key pieces if you uh, so desire having. Uh, a Mega Satan fight in the future, then you're all good on doing so. But I mean, this is an easy fight now. So you're dead. So, 50% chance for 30 coins. 50% chance for 7 soul hearts. I need 30 coins. Thank you. I can't believe that this actually worked. I will spawn the other boss as well. You might as well, right? No reason not to. We're very powerful at the current moment because of the strength card, so... Go for the fight. Hurt a little bit, but life goes on. Uh, you do not want to teleport to the dark room, though. As that would just be stupid. Right now. Now we open up this, uh, this chest over here. Our one with the spikes on it. And you hope to God it gives you a bomb. It did. <laughs> I can't... Oh, but we don't have a spirit heart now. That's now the thing we're missing. Oh, we also had a two of diamonds. Just pop that immediately for 99. Okay. Uh, you, my friend, need to give us a spirit heart. This is, like, increasingly low likelihood right here. You gave me treasure map. It's fine. Where is our secret room? We should not spend the bomb, though, now that I think about it. We need a spirit heart in the shop. You don't have one. Ace of spades also sucks. Buy these. How about a balls of steel pill? It's not. However, it gives me... It gave me a hero font card. I can't believe that this actually worked in the way that I intended it to work. And then we get a black market, which I'm going to be honest, we're going to go to it on this floor. We lose out on the Yera, um, which, I mean, you snooze, you lose, I think, in this case. Although, you know what? Here, ready? Yera. Boom. We Yera. We're walking away with full HP now. But now we go back, um... And when we pick up birthday candle, this should give us an all stats up. Yeah. Which is exactly what we wanted all along. And it increased our luck, which is uh, the entire thing we're building around. So, in the end, I mean, that worked phenomenally. Uh, you come here, you take yourself another health up pill. Why not? A speed up, sure. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Not the best. Health down, okay, it's fair. And then... Continue to pop this crap. Two of clubs for four bombs. Works for me. Uh, fake ID. And now we're here. Um, and you 100% say goodbye to that and take blank card. Uh, and also take habit. And also take sack head. Um, which gives you 
that and then i mean piggy bank actually does benefit us here because if we ever get ourselves the beautiful synergy that i'm thinking of which is uh the ability for us to damage ourselves with dull dull razor then this is gonna work out flawlessly this is a run that i have built from the bottom up and it, it looks lovely at the current moment and you damn well know we might not have the stats right now and the damage to waltz through this run but god knows that we did our work on the last one to set us up for hopefully a successful future there's a lot of good things going for us on this run and a lot of things that we can uh build around to make work blank card plus tarot cloth is just strong uh it is what it is it's a very strong combination and it's going to help us out uh, a lot here if i can pull uh, a couple of very basic things obviously the year rune would have been amazing to get but um sometimes crap happens card against humanity is actually very strong for us um i know that that seems like a very strange statement but this can give us a lot of money very quickly however rate of fire is making this just straight up painful and i don't have time for it so we won't be doing that at the current moment Every time I pass through that area, I'll, I'll pop a couple more just to make sure we're living our best life. But, okay, you're dead. Just nail a couple. The thing is, Holy Light as well. Holy Light and Apple, both, uh, I forgot what the other item was that I uh, was talking about earlier. Uh, Apple is that item. Holy Light and Apple being affected by luck. I believe Holy Light is affected by luck. I know Apple is. Um, Holy Light might be. And if it is, then obviously, okay, now we're in business. Because this is just free money everywhere. You know, and this is the kind of room where one year rune with this money and with this uh, battery charge, it's all over. But we will, we will worry about that when the time comes. We, we need to see our uh, item rooms and our shops before we can get too too excited about this double judgment here uh you know what i'm actually real interested in double judgment possibly quadruple judgment possibly you know like sextuple judgment because then you can blow them all up uh and just kind of roll from there i also i did see the tinted rock in this room don't you think that i missed it uh it was right there Another room that would be totally fine to, to Yara, given an opportunity to Yara. God, it'd be so good to Yara. I don't expect to receive a Yara rune, okay? Uh, we, we've gotten our Toka Yaren for this run, and I left it behind. I mean, I didn't leave it behind. I, I, I did something with it, but you're both useless to me. Thus, you have to go. It would have been a disaster if that was an error room. I'm just going to throw that out right now, but let's see. Uh, what what can we do on this run? I feel like we're, we're very, very dependent on just what the shop is going to give us. Because I still think that there is really something to be said for... Yeah, it's fine. Uh, there's something to be said for this dull razor action. And I, as unlikely as it is... I think this would end up being one of the most fun synergies to start off our uh, new Eden streak. Is just trying to get an infinite Krampus. You know, we're, we're a step in the right direction. We picked up the habit. That's a big part of uh, how this synergy is going to work. We just need Dull Razor now. And then obviously a couple other things, but... The big one is is Dull Razor in the habit. So please shop for the love of God. Dull Razor. Restock is huge. And having this be a reroll shop is huge. Now you just give me Dull Razor. Okay, I mean, this is where you go all in here. Keep in mind, we have the uh, Battery Baby's good. Keep in mind we have the uh, the room 
that is entirely filled you know, pop that immediately honestly uh we have the room that is 100 percent filled with poop right now we have ways to fill it with more these are all ways for us to get um a plethora here you know what go steal bff for me for free thanks buddy appreciate it really useful uh coupon also fine just make that heart free Still patiently waiting. Oh, dude, the seven cent steam sale. Okay. We continue to roll in here for sure. This is a very game breaky run and I, I apologize, but also don't because I think that the end result of this is going to be something real lovely. But cut it some slack for now. Don't talk with your mouth full. I know what this is. This is this is the thing where you suck in shots, right? I don't really care about this when I have the ability to game break like I'm doing right now. But obviously, we need the card against humanity. Uh, we need rooms that it, it works well in. This could be a, a game break that takes a very long time to really make happen. Because we're basically sitting waiting for uh i mean having a tears up would be so useful maybe we'll go fight the boss real quick in the hopes of getting ourselves a tears up i will say this right now i think this run is 100 percent won um it's just a matter of how we're going to win it now and i like going the distance hercules style because i could find my way uh to to make it as smooth as we can but I, i'm feeling the isaac man anti-birth has me on the edge of my seat with uh, my skill in Isaac. Keep in mind, we have uh, poop trinket. So this is just, I mean, we're getting all kinds of money through here. But let's go fight the first boss. Just in the hopes. Also, that troll bomb could be insanely valuable uh, for us in, in poop room to speed this process along. Here, pop this real quick. Just to make life ever so slightly easier for me it's just an hp up i took the tick um i'm gonna be honest it doesn't really affect me at all but take this come in here pop this i want to say that, that was actually 100 percent worth it as weird as that sounds 100 percent worth it do you see how much money this gave us this is what i'm talking about People are sleeping on Card Against Humanity. It's a very easy game break when you get it. But this is real nice. Keep in mind that we are about to be able to buy items for three cents after we pay seven. Because that restock is going to go uh, and we will be able to restock the seven cent item, which will now be three because of uh, Steam Sale. So we'll be restocking a three cent item and just pulling every single one of them. The dream is that you get Doll Razor before you get Chaos. Compass, Ventricle Razor, Mom's Bottle of Pills, The Jar, Cotton Bud. There's so many new items though. Mystery Gift, which is honestly fine. We'll be able to pop that. Doll Razor. It came right before Chaos. <laughs> How lovely. Okay, now we come out here. Pop this. It's some homing bombs. We, we have our break, boys. How lovely. Um, Let's take this. So it should be when I pop it, I get half a charge back. No. I don't get any charge back. But I do get money from that, which is why I took uh, Piggy Bank a long time ago. Um... I do think in order for winning, it's in our best interest to do this uh, and, and just take what we can now. Because this can give us so many items. I, I mean, I don't even really care what they are. We'll make it work from here. The Dull Razor synergy that I got so very excited about, I mean, is it great? It, it's okay. Um, I feel good with the fact that I was able to come up with that. But it's not necessarily something that, you know, I'm going to 
walk out of my room right now and be like, hey, mom, guess what I did today? Um, take this. So here's what we'll do. And, and I'm going to be real with you, okay? We can do this and become even more powerful. Um, but let, let's start like this. That starts this off, which gives us more stuff. I mean, we have ways for us to get even more money than what we have, okay? Uh, we, we basically find another big room, such as one of these long ones. Uh, we go back, we grab blank card, we go back, we grab card against humanity, we roll kind of situation. I don't really think I care that much to go back and get card against humanity however i'll tell you what i do uh and mainly because this is a game break that i'm i'm feeling pretty proud of that i managed to get a card against humanity game break rolling so i will take my time to make this work um i will <laughs> i bought store credit i have a feeling that i can't gulp that but blood clot nine volt dude we almost have the Doll Razor, total synergy. Cursed Eye is fine. Glowy Mushroom, fine. Okay. Now, we need Blank Card first. Blank Card, Card Against Humanity. And then pop it in... I mean, probably this room right here. Let's actually clear these out of the way first. We picked up Bomber Boy at some point in time. Uh, but now, Card Against Humanity... Game slows down a little bit, but that's okay. Um, then let's go get Dull Razor. Just to make this a little bit quicker. So up here, Dull Razor. Come back down. Uh, is there somewhere I can hurt myself or should I just use a bomb? I'll just use a bomb. We're going to get Spirit Hearts back. So, I mean, this isn't really a concern. I'm doing this primarily for speed. But then we can do this. More money. This is a game break that, I mean, eventually it has to stop. Oh, we have mom's, uh, the mom transformation, so we can just walk, uh, and get stuff here. But now we're sitting in a situation where we have another, uh, 55 cents, which, or, well, 60, 67 cents, 60, 70 cents right now. Wait, I mean, it just keeps on going. We're gonna have close to 100 cents at the end of this. Keep it going, 77... It's an Ace of Spades. It's an Ansu's room. We don't care. 79 cents. Divide that by three is, I mean, it, it's like pretty close to 25. It's actually 26 and some change. So then we come back here and you keep on buying. You know, I, I'd like to, at this point in time, if I can get the Guppy transformation out of this, that would be lovely. Fade is fine. Goat Head's great. Yoga. No, dude, give me a friggin' massive damage down. We're one guppy item away. Curse of the Towers, you know, it is what it is. Bob's Rotten Head, Epiphora, Distant Admiration, Jumper Cable, Scatter Bombs, Mama Mega. Oh, you know what? Mama Mega gets us in a boss rush here. There's Guppy. Fast Bombs, Raven Skull, Sad Bombs, Magic Mush, Sticky Bombs. I mean, look, you're looking at this now going, hey, stupid, you should have taken Dr. Fetus. All right, I'll give you that. This would be a fine run to have Dr. Fetus on. Okay, um, take... Well, first of all, take this. Pop it. It's fine. I don't care about it. I think we're in... In the market for this being our final... Final card against humanity that we're gonna do here. This is kind of a sucky room for it. Let, let's clear a couple more... Our rooms here. We got, dude, what happened to our rate of fire? And what in the hell was that? A health up. Wow, that was just more money chilling right there. This is the room that will pop card against humanity in. Dude, I, I'm loving whatever it is we've created here. So, when pop this, and then just get this show on the road. You know what to do. Walk around, row by row. <laughs> Such a weird game break, man. One crappy game break. Literally. Just filled with crap. <laughs> this is so fitting. 
for a first episode of the uh, streak. I know you're probably like Tyler. I mean, just go, man. You, you have a one run. Look at how many friggin' flies you have received from Guppy from this room by popping poop. I see them. Trust me. I really do. I'm still waiting to pull, you know, Godhead or something. Why did we lose such a massive rate of fire downgrade? There's another fake ID. I would love to know why you gave me another one, game. Okay. 66 money is going to be 33 more items. No, it's going to, it's going to be... 22 more items, which is still a stupid amount of items. I don't know why I'm laughing at that as if I was wrong. It's a stupid amount of items. It's like 26 now. We got friggin' bombs turning into other bombs. I don't know where my, uh, my fake ID went. I do want that, man. Fake ID has the ability to... I mean, it could give us uh, the last shop items we need to make Dull Razor Synergy work. To the utmost of its ability is the varicose veins synergy for those that don't know what i'm talking about i'm actually being pushed out of this room by the item at the front okay fake id slip over here to euthanasia and then just roll we should be pretty close to spun as well that should do it yep beautiful the bean just roll man just sit on it compost Hot bombs, checking and see. I got a fever of a hundred and three. Uh, the halo, the box, black key, dead cat. Actually, like, pretty bad for us there, but it's fine. Guppy's head. I don't even know what that item is. Uh, bookworm, BBF, cold blooded. Oh, I hate that item. Uh, broken watch, dark symbol, shade, Bob's curse, moldy bread, plan C. All right. Now, Dull Razor, Fake ID, Dull Razor, get out. We have 0. .17 speed. <laughs> How could this happen to me, dude? What is this garbage? <laughs> One slow lad. Holy crap, dude! Our uh. Number two bombs. That's something else right now. What is this? I can't get out of this room. <laughs> I can't leave. Give me a room at the Hotel California. <laughs> We're so slow. My lord, man. How ridiculous is this? Uh, give me Pulse Worm back. Luckily, we can still carry a trinket. We just have the tick uh, along with us as well. I never popped Mama Mega, so we won't be able to get into Boss Rush. But what do I care? Dude, there's a friggin' like, ham sandwich following behind me. What have I done to this run, man? I love every second of it. Take the Polaroid. Come in here. I, why not, honestly? Uh, just take whatever. Now you fake ID. Come down here. It's a whole hell of a lot of whatever. Chilling down here. I'll take. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. We get hit by that. We can't. We can't get away from that. I'm trying to take this. I really am. Uh, sure. I'll take breakfast. Trade a spirit heart for a red heart. Sounds fine to me. Such a dumb run, dude. Uh, and then we head on down, and, and you live your best life. For a while, we're going to be walking into rooms, and just... I mean, enemies will die by us walking, because we got flies. Number two is still, I mean, probably the, the worst enemy we have right now. Because I'm not positive with my .28 speed, I can get away from an enemy that tries to kill me. We're actually, this is the Arnold Schwarzenegger lineup right here. We, we're just, holy crap, what have I done? It's good, man. It's good. We're dead. <laughs> it's 
It's a good thing we got nine lives, but we're dead. What do you got? Uh, sure, Horde Babylon. Why not? Might as well. A little bit of extra HP if we ever lose, or extra damage if we ever lose our HP here. Ace of Clubs. Don't care. Just head on in. I need to remember to actually pop Doll Razor, um, because I mean we're gonna get hit a lot throughout this run anyway. So walk in a room, pop it. Who who knew that the synergy that I thought would be, uh, the the winner beyond all winners would be whatever this is. I'm in a situation. I'm just gonna die every time I walk into a room. Which is, is not a good thing, mind you. Oh, here we go again. Oh, they got bigger. Okay. Feels good. <laughs> There's a part of me that, honestly, I really hope I lose this run. Because that would be at just absolutely hysterical. I try to break this crap wide open in the process. I get it, dude. Every time I pop the space bar item, I hurt myself, which causes this garbage to occur. I do understand the situation at hand. It, it's a finicky one. I'll say that right now. Puberty. So we do not want to... Oh, we've done it. <laughs> We do not want to get hit. Yep. Nice. We do not want to get hit. And we uh, do not want to pop our space bar item. In the slightest. These are very, very bad things for us. On the bright side. I mean, we just have everything we could ever want everywhere we step. Just don't ever get hit or you're dead. <laughs> It's a very weird glass cannon run that we got going on here. Do I need a range up? I don't need a range up. Just everything die. Thank you. You also cannot keep your uh, shot held down too much because then you pop number two and then you die. Just everything boils down to do it too long, you're just going to die. Um, not the best scenario to be in, to say the least. Uh, I mean, why not? <laughs> Where, dude? Where's my key piece? Don't we? We already got the key. Where the hell is my key then? Is it behind the sandwich or what? God, it's such a weird run, dude. Yeah, it's behind the sandwich. I see it peeking out. I forgot that I did that crap earlier, trying to min-max on this run. It's, it's been a strange one. This definitely goes into my camp of, of weirdest runs I've ever had. My own damn fault still. I I wholeheartedly agree with that. And I'll be honest, there was a part of me that was like, I, I do think we're going to die. Um, I no longer feel that. I think that we are totally fine. Because essentially, as long as I don't pop my spacebar item, everything is A-OK. -okay. Because our damage in these flies, I mean, it just does everything for us. Hello. I mean, this is the kind of room where, like, I feel like, oh, why not? Just, just do one of these, and then there's no way in hell you're escaping that. I might not either, but there's no way in hell you are. So, I'll just, uh, I'll just make my way to the chest and, and head on down. Very strange. This ended up being, um, in a lot of ways, a faster run than I initially expected we already have tarot cloth uh it, it was a faster run than i initially expected because um as i started game breaking i figured that this was this was the end as we knew it but i suppose when life hands you a fast run and a game break a powerful run then everything's gonna speed up a little bit over time Surprised I didn't get hit right there. The thing is, I mean, we, our damage is not even that great. I mean, we have 11 damage on this run. Which is, uh, it's okay. I, I'm not saying it's bad, but is it really that good? I don't think so. 
You're dead, though. I mean, I could pop Dull Razor. It seems like a really poor uh, decision to make. There's a golden bomb on top of uh, Mega Satan's head. It's good. I think I've broken this into seeing that this room is actually one long rectangle. Do you see this in the back over here? That's funky. Uh, please end my run. This is getting very, very strange. Thanks so much for watching. That's the first episode of the uh, Eden streak, and it was a doozy to say the least. Um, hopefully you'll come back and watch uh, more of the series. I'm excited to crank up another, hopefully, 30 win Eden streaks, uh, because that's kind of our, our top was 29. I think. I might have to go back and check that, uh, but I think it's 29. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, come on by next time. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching. You have a good day. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.